<laughs> Hiring a contractor isn't easy. They all claim to be licensed and insured, and they all come across as honest, hard workers. Yeah, and most of them are, but not the guy who's going into the Hall of Shame tonight. Rob Wolchick says this guy's a smooth talker with a long criminal record. Rob? You know, people say to me all the time, oh, I'm sure you never get ripped off, Rob Wolchick. Listen, professional bad guys are bad guys. They'll take your money regardless if you're a TV reporter, a vulnerable senior, or in this case, a couple that works for the United States government. <laughs> oh. Say hi to Donald Rusty Fry. Huh? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on now. <laughs> Don Fry puts the con into his concrete jobs. Each sells a good story. Don says he's been doing concrete and brickwork for 30 years. Don's arrest record goes back even further. But now Don Fry's cooked his own goose because his days of getting paid... He never showed. ...and disappearing... He never called me back. ...are going to be over fast. I got nothing from him. What's going to hit Donald Fry is going to feel like a ton of bricks. All I want is for that man not to pull that stunt on anybody else. This is a concrete patio form Don Fry started for Angela and John, a married couple who bought a brand new house in Westland. He came out, he looked at what we wanted, you know, for a patio size, and then gave us a quote. He said he was licensed, certified, insured, does this all the time, we won't have any issues. Great, because both John and Angela have important jobs and don't have time to mess with any contractor problems. Angela wrote Don Fry a $1,400 check to get started. Don was out within days setting up the concrete forms. A few days later, Fry told Angela he'd be pouring the concrete that afternoon while she and John were at work. He asked for the remainder of his money. Reluctantly, Angela wrote Fry a $1,380 check, expecting to come home to a finished patio. Instead, the patios looked like this ever since. Don Fry's bailed out on jobs like this before, but this time, he may have picked the wrong couple to rip off. Remember how I said Angela and John had important jobs? I work for the U.S. Attorney's Office. And who do you work for? I work for federal law enforcement. Okay. <laughs> So Don Fry is a busted, dope, but Don Fry is also mean. He came to the door. Oh. I am so angry at myself because he probably caught me at a bad time in my life, you know. 88-year-old Mary sure was at a bad time in her life. She needed these pavers straightened because she was afraid her terminally ill husband was going to trip and fall. Don Fry said he could do the job. You gave him how much money? Totally, I think it was a couple thousand dollars. Fry was also supposed to fix a few broken bricks in the porch. Mary says Fry showed up, pulled the pavers and bricks out, and said he'd be back. So he knew your husband was sick and ailing? Of course. And he just took your money and left? Wow. Mary had to pay someone else to put the bricks back. Her husband of more than 60 years passed away shortly afterwards, leaving oh Mary God. alone to think about the creep who took her money at the lowest point of her life, Donald Fry. I'm so. sure he might have pulled it on other people that just never contacted you. You know, you feel embarrassed when this happens to you. Mary reported Fry and his company, Masonry Restoration, to the Better Business Bureau. He had other complaints with the BBB as well. John and Angela filed suit. I think the average person trying to track him down is gonna have a hard time. They're not gonna be able to find him. But I found him. on houses downriver. There's his truck where it says he's licensed and insured. But Don Fry doesn't have a builder's license. This guy doesn't even have a driver's license. Donald Russell Fry has been cited a bunch of times for driving with no license, but that's nothing. This guy's got a bunch of criminal convictions in the 80s, a bunch of convictions in the 90s, and even more felony convictions in the 2000s. Like this incident in 2008, where Donald Fry was chasing people with a knife at a poker game, including a pregnant woman who climbed to the roof of a house to escape him. After assaulting people at the poker party, Fry assaulted the police. Fry was eventually sent to prison, but got out and got busted again. And again, oh man, I got to meet Don. But first, Don needs to meet my undercover cameraman. Don comes out to check out a porch job. Looks like he's got a new van. 
He writes out a contract, shakes hands on the deal, and he's off. This is all I do, man. All right. I don't ask for nothing. I get done just painting. But Don changes his mind and decides he needs a check before he can start the job. I got a check for him. A wall check. Hey, Don Fry, it's Rob Walter from Fox 2. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sir. So, uh, tell me a little bit about this family out in Westland. You were supposed to do the cement on their patio area? Huh? Nope, don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, Don. <laughs> Hang on, Don. Gee, Don thinks this is all pretty Don. funny. They already sued me, so what does it matter? I well, got to go to court. Fill me in on it, man. Uh, Why'd you well, do that? We had problems with financial problems, and everything uh -huh. got set back. You know that that lady works for the U.S. Attorney's Office? Yes, sir. And you know her husband's a federal agent? They've already sued me. I go to court and I'll pay them. Yeah. All you can do. Get in. Remember Mary? Huh? They ripped her off, took her money. Mary who? 88 year old lady. Talking something. about two brick in a porch? I'm gone. Yeah, you're gone, all right, Don. <laughs> gone right into the Hall of Shame. Wow. Don Fry currently has an arrest warrant for not showing up to court in Plymouth. Angela and John's lawsuit against Fry goes to court in a few weeks. I'll let you know if Don shows up for that. So we know he's got a record. He's broken a lot of laws. What about this? Can he be arrested for, the, for what he's doing now? No, I'm glad you asked that. A lot of police departments will tell you this is a civil matter. To charge one, someone with fraud, the cops have to prove the intent of the contractor was to take the money and run. You heard Don use the excuse, well, we had some financial problems and couldn't finish the job. He already got paid, so that's not true, but it's the type of excuse that makes it hard to prove fraud. But there is a law that says if you don't have a builder's license and do a job that requires a builder's license, you can be charged with a crime. It's a misdemeanor punishable by a fine of not less than $5,000 and imprisonment for up to a year. In case there are any police officers who are watching, it's Occupational Code 399.601. We put the law on our website, fox2detroit.com. Go get these unlicensed guys. But, Rob, police will tell you, look, they got to get up the real criminals, the home invaders, the, the people who stab and rob. Absolutely, and that's what we want them to go after. Absolutely, and I have <coughs> absolute respect for the police officers. I know what they're doing. But there is this law, and it just surprises me that there aren't more cops willing to use this law and get these guys because it seems pretty clear cut. If the guy writes out a $3,000 contract for work that he needs a license for, and they've got the contract, They've got the canceled checks, and it's against the law. Let's charge this guy. Let's get this guy, you know, let's get these unlicensed guys off the street. Especially somebody who keeps doing it over and over and over again. And this guy's in trouble his whole life. There.